All right, this morning I'm gonna show you how to uh, properly calibrate a grain drill. Now there's a lot of different methods to do it. You know, some people just put in, uh, you know, a few bags of seed, see how many uh, acres it goes over. Uh, some people will jack up the drive wheel and spend it so many revolutions and try and figure pounds per acre that way. Uh, all these methods can work, but this is a method that I found to be by far, by far the easiest and definitely the most accurate. To do this properly, what you'll need, you need a measuring wheel. You'll need a digital food scale that can measure in grams. A few different old socks and some rubber bands. Now what we're calibrating for today is our uh, cover crop mix that we're planting out here behind our corn, but it works on pretty much anything you put in the drill. Oh yeah, also I've got You'll need a uh, measuring device. I like these little rulers that measure in up to 64 inches of the scale. They're metal rulers. They're nice and flexible, and they really work well on measuring the uh, measuring the metering rolls on these John Deere no-till drills. I picked these up at Ace Hardware. You know, usually it's a little bit easier if you're planting just one product, say if you're planting just, uh, you know, straight rye, straight weed, or something else, one product. What we got in our drill is a blend of five different species, so it uh, makes it just not quite just as accurate because you, the mixture might change as it goes throughout the drill, but we found this method still gets us real close. All right, after you run just a little bit of seed through the drill just to get your meters kind of uh, slicked up a little bit, you'll go ahead and set your drill down, down in the ground and then stop. And what this does is it gets your drive already engaged so there's no lag once you start uh, catching the seed. And then you wanna grab all the stuff that you need. And go ahead and get it set up on the drill. Then what you wanna do is take one of these seed tubes off on each end. Here you go, Zach. And use a rubber band to attach a suck to it to be able to capture the seed. Just like that right there. Step number two, don't lose the ruler that you just had in your hand and thought you put in your pocket. Aha. All right, we got a sock set up on both sides of the drill because we've got a gate on each side of the drill so we need to measure them independently all right now what we're going to do is measure our distance right behind our drive wheel the distance doesn't matter as long as you go 153 feet for the formula to work out but the, but obviously the farther that you go the more accurate that this calibration will be All right, 191 feet. All right, now we take our handy little food scale. We'll make sure it is set to grams. And we will tear out our container. And then we will pour the seed in and weigh it in grams. Make sure we get all of it. All right, 64 and a half grams. And then we will use the formula, grams caught divided by your distance. Do that and then multiply that times 153.65. So grams caught 64 and a half. 64.5 divided by our distance, 191 equals times 153.65 and uh, and the answer you get to that formula will give you how many pounds per acre you're putting out and it says we're putting out 51.88 pounds per acre we're shooting for 67 so we need to increase it some all right this is 75 and a half grams on this side 75.5 divided by 191 times 
All right, this side's putting out almost 61 pounds an acre. So we need to increase the other one 16 pounds an acre. We need to increase this one about six pounds per acre. Now this is where this little uh, handy uh, ruler comes in nice. All right, we measure out how far open the cup is. All right, it's showing uh, one and 10 30 seconds. Now moving it, each 30 second you move it will adjust your rate by about five pounds an acre and we want it to go up six pounds on this so we'll move it one 30 seconds of an inch. Alright, so we're about one and nine thirty seconds on this side. Now on this side way over here we need to increase it by about three thirty seconds of an inch. Right, it's about uh, one and ten thirty seconds. About one and seven thirty seconds. Go ahead and set the drill down. I'll put the socks on. All right, now we're going to check it. Got to make sure to go ahead and get a running start for the drill before we put the socks on and start our measurements. Go ahead, put pull forward. All right, 184 feet. 81.5 grams called, divided by 184 times 153.65. 68 pounds per acre. Right on the money. All right, 81 divided by 184 times 153.65. 67.6 .6 pounds per acre. You're not going to get any more accurate than that. Well, guys, that is how we calibrate our drill. It's set right on the money. You know, I recommend checking, probably, you'll probably run in 50 acres and then double checking it again because things can kind of shift and adjust themselves a little bit on a, on a drill. If you do that, uh, I can guarantee you, you can purchase however many acres of seed that you need and you won't have to worry about uh, going back and buying some more or having extra seed left over. I hope this helped you out and appreciate y'all watching.